Hello, I'm Edgar with Advanced Test Equipment Rentals, and today we're going to be talking about the NH Research 4760 High Voltage Electronic DC Load. Today we'll be going over the standalone unit as well as multiple units in parallel. The 4760 LXI series is a 1 kilowatt 50 amp to 36 kilowatt 1800 amp electronic DC load. On the front of the standalone unit, you will find the power switch a hardware indicator that will flash when an error has been recognized internally, and a USB port. The flashing status light indicates the control power is applied and the fan and CPU are operating properly. The solid LAN light indicates the Ethernet is operational. On the rear panel of the unit, you will find two input connections, negative and a positive. This is where the unit under test is connected. The parallel switch will be set to standalone, while our range will be set to high. This unit will come with an airlock that should not be removed. We will navigate through the front display. This touchscreen allows local operator control and monitoring of the load. The 4760 has a power up self test that is implemented in the firmware and will report error messages about the status of the input, output, and control board and protection mechanism. The front display consists of an active mode indicator on the left and a tab control on the top. Along the bottom are status indicators. The active mode indicator is always visible on the left side of the display. Each tab page contains related controls. The monitor tab is for monitoring measurement. Control is for controlling the operating modes and settings of the load. Scope is for viewing waveforms. Macro is for setting up programs. Setup is for choosing various options. And more is for miscellaneous action. We will now connect the DC load to a unit under test for a demonstration. The unit under test has been powered on. We will increase the current by turning the knob fully clockwise. As I increase the voltage on the test unit, the input will be displayed on the DC load. Try to get about 15 volts. I have increased the unit under test to 15 volts. The 4760 DC load should only show a minimal variation of the input voltage. Select the control tab to set your current. Verify that the unit under test does not exceed the load capabilities. I will set the DC load to 90 amps. Once there, select constant current. Amps will show at the top of the screen. We will verify our unit under test. Amp reads 88. Now let's check out six units in parallel. Multiple units will ship with the laptop preloaded with the NH Research software. You can combine up to six DC loads in parallel to achieve a max power of 36 kilowatts and 1800 amps. We have connected all of the 4760 DC loads in parallel. These bus bars have been installed for parallel operation. You should never let these two bus bars touch and be aware of screws that may be longer than necessary. Using ethernet cables, we have wired all DC loads to a switch that will be connected to the laptop provided. All units have been set to operate at 115 volts. It is imperative that you connect to a standard 115 volt power source. Click on the customer user account. We will now launch the graphic user interface to control the system from the computer. Now we'll double click on the NHR instrument icon. Remote lock should appear on all load displays. We will now set the voltage to 30 volts and the current to 500 amps. The voltage set will be displayed on each unit's front panel. I will now set the current to 500 amps.
click on the constant current mode. Now you can see we're drawing 500 amps. You can see the 500 amps here too. The current 500 amps have now been divided by all six units. This concludes our review of the NHR 4760 high voltage electronic DC load.